watching this video this is your teacher Friday again and uh, in today's presentation I will be taking you through through the opposites in today's tutorial or today's presentation I will be taking you through opposites and it's me your teacher again teacher Friday the teacher of English language um, partially sometimes I do take you through social studies but not most often sometimes I teach social studies and uh, most often I do teach English language and uh, in today's presentation or today's tutorial I will be taking you through the opposites yeah opposites a simple definition I can give about the opposites is that the opposite means something or a person that is as different as possible from something or somebody else somebody who is completely different something that is contrary to what the other one is something totally different from that that is what we call the opposite of the other for example if we say a man and then a woman because these two things are totally different from the other as possible as it can be the opposites are words formed from different parts of speech. That is to say, opposites are in nouns, verbs, prepositions, adjectives, adverbs to mention but a few. Now we shall be looking at them one by one. Now for example, we shall begin with the opposites of nouns. Opposites of nouns according to gender. Yeah. It can be according to gender, it can be true according to anything. For example, here we have masculine and feminine. For example, if somebody is a man, the opposite of a man is a woman. And then ram, the opposite of ram is a new, is a you, huh? a new. Some people call it away, but we call it you, 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 according to English language. Then the opposite of a fox is a vixen. Yeah, a male fox. Uh, a, 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 a male fox is <laughs> anyway. This one is a male, and the other one is a female. Yeah. Then uh, we have a governor, and a female governor is a governess. Uh, that is according to gender. Opposites formed according to gender. Now, we we'll look at another kind of opposites formed according to verbs. Like come, somebody can say go, come, come, and the other one says go, go. Uh, that is the opposite. Somebody can say begin, and the other one says end or stop or halt. Uh, then somebody says cry. The opposite of crying is laughing, and the opposite of losing is gaining mm -hmm. or earning something. Mm -hmm. Opposites formed according to adjectives sorry for that govern and governess it was according to gender now we have adjectives and their opposites like slow fast dirty clean the opposite of dirty is clean if something is not clean then it is dirty uh, something barren if somebody is not barren then they are fertile and generous if somebody is not generous then that particular person is selfish or they are mean Inner, the opposite of inner is outer. Okay, we shall be proceeding. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. There are some cargo vehicles passing by. Opposites from prefixes. Opposites from according to prefixes. Like I'm, this, miss, in, I, R, ill, etc. For example, we have kind. The opposite of kind is unkind, just an a prefix, which is un, unkind. Tidy, untidy. Encourage, discourage. Arm, disarm. Most, hmm? Quot, misquot. Correct, incorrect. Sen, insane. Polite, impolite. Patient, impatient. Legal, illegal, logical, illogical. Hmm? 
like that mm -hmm. for less need needless my others yeah I'll be winding up this tutorial it's very short I shot at six minutes and in this tutorial I will be ending with this simple activity I was saying the right to follow the given opposites the right giving the opposite of the underlying to what? one is, is my handwriting legible? the underlined word is legible I'm sorry for the problem with the number in number two our head teacher proudly talks about the importances the importance of books proudly the opposite of proudly and then uh, I am sitting in a comfortable seat hmm? you'll be giving us the opposite of comfortable um the shopkeeper is ma is a merciful man you'll be giving us the opposite of merciful Mivule is a thin tree. Mivule is a thin tree. The opposite needed there is the opposite of thin. Why do you, why do you use an ancient style of dancing? The opposite needed is the opposite of ancient. Edith is a faithful servant. Yeah, particularly here. Here, the underlined word was faithful. Faithful. I'm sorry that was a typing error but the underlined word was faithful so you will be giving the opposite of faithful in that sentence then the floating boat appeared yesterday the opposite needed here is for the word appeared thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching this video uh, when you watch this video, make some research and make sure you answer the activity or the assignment that has been given and responses will be given into our Google Classroom. Um, the people watching this video via YouTube, you can also put your responses in the comment section below. Yeah, you'll be putting your responses to the comment section. You can also mail me via friday earlier gmail.com and you'll be reaching me directly i'll be able to see your responses thank you for viewing this video and thank you for keeping tuned in it's me your teacher friday again i sign out